Well, the swift parrots are a really beautiful little parrot. Um, they live in Tasmania and they've become critically endangered, unfortunately. Um, they're a very interesting bird because they're very nomadic. They look around for the best flowering patches of trees. And that means that every year uh, they end up nesting in different locations in Tasmania. Unfortunately, we discovered that there's an, a major threatening process uh, on the main island of Tasmania. There's an introduced predator called the sugar glider. And it shouldn't be there. It was introduced to Tasmania about 100 years ago. And they attack the swift parrots while they're nesting and they kill the females while she is in the nest hollow. And we found, it's really quite horrible, that the, uh, about 50% of the females get killed this way every year. Sugar gliders are introduced to Tasmania and are the main threat that faces swift parrots. In fact, swift parrots were listed as critically endangered entirely as a consequence of how severe sugar glider predation is on their nests. When we found out about how bad the sugar glider predation was, we did an analysis called population viability analysis and that allows us to take all of the data over many years and to compile it into a model that allows us to predict the future of the population. And you can see that when we put all the data into the model, the swift parrot numbers come down very quickly and they go to very, very close to zero after only 16 years. But this model assumes that it's all one big population that moves around and is constantly going to the mainland of Tasmania. Uh, we did the genetic analysis to find out whether this was true and whether the worst case scenario was in fact the true situation. We extracted DNA from blood and feather samples and we amplified them for seven microsatellite genetic markers and then we constructed full genotypes for 109 individuals in total. Based on those 109 unrelated individuals that in our case represent the whole species, we conducted population genetic structure analysis by time and location to see if there is any genetic structure present in the species. The null hypothesis in this case is that the species as a whole, both the mainland and island populations, were genetically one single large interbreeding population. Sure enough, the genetic results confirmed our initial expectations. The tricky thing about this study is that we had to be sure that our findings were true. No matter how we analyse the, the data, it was clear that the null hypothesis was true. Multiple simulations using different software packages convincingly showed us that we had statistical power to draw those conclusions. Populations that breed on the mainland also breed on the island in subsequent years and vice versa. The results of this paper unfortunately present very bad news for the swift parrots because they show that the worst of our fears are true, that uh, it is one big population and that the birds do not um, go out to the offshore islands regularly to breed and most of them are nesting on the main island of Tasmania and being hit by predation uh, on a very regular basis. So our paper has shown that uh, the population is in fact plummeting towards extinction at the rate that, we, that our modelling showed and at the rate that we feared was happening. To keep swift parrots safe from their main predator, the sugar glider, we've designed a device called the Possum Keeper Router. It's a mechanical door that opens and closes depending on the amount of daylight, and it will open in the daytime to allow the parrots to come in and out of their nests as they like, but at night time it'll shut and keep the sugar gliders out, but the parrots safe inside. <laughs> 